Hi everyone. Today I am taking a very simple topic as direct and inverse proportion. It is simply the variation in the two quantities. Like I'll be giving you one two examples. The first is that if the number of articles is increased, then the amount which you have to pay will also be increased. And if the speed is increased. then the time taken to cover that certain distance decreases so in these two examples you can see that in first example if one quantity is increased the other is also increased and in the second example we can see that if one quantity is increased the other decreases so these variation will be studying at in direct and inverse proportion first is direct proportion If I say the cost of one shirt is rupees five hundred, then the cost of five shirts will be rupees twenty five hundred. If the cost of one kg of sugar is thirty, then the cost for four kg of sugar will be one twenty. So you can see by these examples that if one quantity is increased, the value for the other also increases. So. if in general i take those increment as to the constant k then we will be getting the simple formula for direct and proportion as x1 upon y1 will be equal to x2 upon y2 yes taking it with the help of example an electric pole which is 14 meter high cast the shadow of 10 meters so we have to find the height of tree that will cast the shadow of 15 meters simply we will be putting it in the formula if 14 will be casting as 10 then how much the height is needed to cast the shadow of 15 doing the simple calculation and we will be getting our answer as 21 so this was direct proportion that if one quantity increases the other also increases moving to the next that is inverse proportion so if we increase the speed of a car then time taken to complete that certain distance decreases right or if we increase the number of workers in the factory so time taken to complete a certain amount of work to finish that job will decrease so we can see that if one quantity is increased the other decreases and if i take to it as the constant k so we will be getting that x1 upon x2 will be equal to y2 upon y1 right means inverse proportion is if one quantity is increased the other decreases one example to it is six pipe can are required to fill the tank of one tank in one hour 20 minutes and how long five pipe will take to complete that work so we can see that 6 is requiring 80 minutes and 5 will require how much simply putting it in the formula and we'll be getting our answer as 96 so this was the inverse proportion like if one quantity is increased the other decreases so this was the basic of direct and inverse proportion direct is if one quantity is increased the other also increases and inverse is if one quantity is increased the other decreases more to it in detail we'll be discussing it in the next lecture till then have a nice day